Hey there YouTube fans, AC Productions here and today I'm going to be showing you how to consolidate your wires and to make it look like this to this. Okay, so you're pretty much wondering why am I showing you underneath the, where you took out the seat and everything. You can see my crappiness of wires. And that's because if you're anything like me, you have all of these connectors just occupying the heck out of your battery terminals. And look how messy that is. And it becomes a very hassle when you're trying to work on it. Maybe you need to disconnect something. Just maybe you need to disconnect this cable like this one's already hanging off. Maybe, you know, I was probably working on it. kind of got lazy and stuck it back on or maybe it fell out. But in any case, you know, maybe you're wanting to work on something. You need to disconnect only the one cable but yet you need to take out the screw and remove all the cables so that all the cables would fall out you know and then it becomes a hassle to try to put all these little connectors all back on at the same time putting your screw back on what a hassle that is thinking about it, I was like how can i get rid of this mess of wires and still make it easy for me to just disconnect this cable but not all of the little cables at the same time so after thinking about it that's what i came up with so today i'm going to be showing you on exactly on how i did it on how to get rid of this mess and make it more easier for you to work on your bike especially on those things that you do have connected to your battery and not have to disconnect the whole entire little uh, screws off of the battery and making it stress-free and easier let's get started all right so this is going to be everything you need to do that wire consolidation uh, harness that i did i know it looks like a lot of stuff here but honestly it's really not that much so let me go through everything here we're gonna need a pair of wire snips wire strippers you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket and this little ratchety tool set different variations of heat shrink tubing uh you're gonna need two eyelet terminals that's gonna be your two main ones from now on a lighter for the heat shrink tubing male spade connectors female spade connectors plenty of them solder flux solder solder iron and then plenty of red and black wire all right so let's uh get let's get started and let's start making our wire harness now let's over let's go over to our bike and you at this point you're going to need to count how many accessories you have on the bike in order to make this harness so let's go to the bike all right guys now we're over at the bike now the reason that we're over at the bike before we actually start making the harness is because we want to count how many accessory things that we have on our bike if you just have one then you really don't need to make this harness on your unless you're planning to make other installations in the future you want to install some other things so if you just have one thing connected to your bike you know just having the cable to the battery is fine but i'm going to go ahead and count how many things i have on my bike that's occupying space on the battery so we could actually make this harness okay so i approximately counted eight accessories that i have occupying on my battery which is really nine because i do have this really fat cable uh, both positive and negative and that goes to my jump starter cable now that one i'm not going to add to the harness because this is such a thick cable so definitely don't want to be chopping into that if you happen to have that just leave it as is we're going to keep that as is this is just for all these other aftermarket accessories uh so this one i'm going to still leave intact on both the positive and the negative but for everything else i'm going to make that harness so i counted eight i think i'm just going to put 10 all together on each so 10 positive 10 negative and this will make it easier also like say in the future i want to add a little bit more i'll have two more spots on the on the harness to add more accessories i'm going to go ahead and just do 10 and 10 and it's up to you like i said guys you don't have to do 10 and 10 like i'm gonna do if you want to maybe do a five and a five it's all up to you and how much accessories that you think in the future you're planning so this part is really up to you all right so let's go ahead and let's go to the bench let's get started on putting this harness together all right so i try to put off everything off to the side for now okay so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to start it doesn't really matter positive or negative i say we will start with the positive all right so we're gonna go ahead and grab some wire i would say probably would say six inches six inches should be good enough put it anywhere on inside the bike where it's going to be out of the way so you're going to go ahead and get your wire snips and we are just going to snip away at the cable okay so i would say between six to ten inches i would say, let's just go that route six to ten inches of cable on both the positive and the negative all right once we clip those next we're going to go is we're going to start clipping all, all the small wires that are going to kind of connect to our accessories three maybe three inches each on these okay now that we got our uh, wires already cut i have 10 here 10 over there and then these are our main ones okay next we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we are going to splice all of these these and these and we're going to go ahead and splice one end and one end on this so let's go ahead and do that with our wire strippers okay now that we got all of the ends already spliced as you can see they're all pretty spliced pretty long next what we're going to do is we're going to splice the other ends but we're not going to do it as long because we just needed to enough to put these little um spade connectors on all right and at this point it'd be a lot easier to do it now than it would be later so let's go ahead and splice all the other side of the ends but not as long I almost forgot to mention when you get to these longer ones uh you just want to make sure you splice enough just to get th these uh connectors on there all right now 
that we spliced all the cables, we got the longer ends on the top, the shorter ends at the bottom, same with these. The shorter ends are gonna connect with our little spade connectors, which as you can see right here. And then also I, I decided to grab these ones, uh, these eyelets, you could probably grab the same, it's just that I noticed with these ones that the opening diameter, I know you can see that, is a lot bigger compared to these ones, which is a lot smaller on the inside, as you, well, heck, you can even see it like this, a lot smaller. Don't really need this really this gigantic one. I just happened to grab the wrong ones uh, when shooting the video, but we really just need a small one because that's gonna connect at this end over here. All right, so pretty much at this point, we, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this blue one. It's gonna go for the negative. We're gonna go ahead and connect it there or crimp it there. The red one obviously is gonna go for red. And we're gonna crimp it on the long cable. So females are all gonna go in the end of our, our wires here on, on the short end. So go ahead and crimp all the females spade connectors on both your positive and your negative cable. Then I'll show you how that looks like. Alrighty guys, that was some very tedious work. But as you could see, I already got all the spade connectors on and uh, we are set to go. Now before you actually put negative comments about this, I forgot to mention that you could put the spade connectors however you want. If you want these to be the feet, the, the male connectors, you could do it. All the positive with the male connectors. You know, I got a red one. You could see a male spade connector. They all comes in different colors. So the real color really doesn't matter. It's all personal preference. You know, as you could see, I got a blue male connector right here. Heck, I even got a male connector that's encased in, uh, you know, if you don't want to use electrical tape, uh, these are encased. So when you put this one with the female connector, once you connect it, it's all covered in like this. So really it's all up to you on how you want to do the spade connectors. Uh, for me, I just happen to do it this way. You could do it this way as well. Or you could do, you know, half and half. Uh, this side to be female and this side to be male. It's all up to you guys. So I kind of just forgot to mention that earlier. But as far as these guys go, as you could see, I already got the connectors for the batteries on there. I'm both the positive and the negative, as you could see. Okay, so next in the process, let me go ahead and put this off to the side. Uh, uh, besides that, I'm actually going to show you an another way to actually get these uh, connectors up covered uh with heat shrink tubing actually we could slide a little bit of heat shrink tubing on all of these connectors therefore when you plug in the the male all of these would be already covered and you don't have to worry about them touching and shorting out to each other or whatever the case may be they don't touch any any other parts of the bike uh, that'll be a little bit later on so for now actually uh we're going to go ahead and we are going to get all of these cables and we are going to connect it all to one at the top right here same thing with this one oops we got a red one over there i don't know how that happened same thing over here with this one so we're going to wrap all of these and get them all tied in like this let me show you on how it's going to be done we are, I'll, just, I'll just show you with one so you guys get the idea on doing them all so grab one and one put them in a, in a cross like this and then just go ahead and twist them therefore there you go so do that with all of them get them cross and then just go ahead and twist and it's starting to build up already so you got the idea do that for both and then i'll show you what to do next Alrighty guys, we already got the, uh, let me go ahead and position that there. Okay, so as you can see, I already got everything already tied together, as you can see on this one and on that one. And now we're going to get ready to connect our long cable to our little harness that we just made. Up to you if you want to grab your heat shrink tubing and slide it in first. But since the heat shrink tubing is kind of on the big side, as you can see, we could actually slide it in after we solder everything. So we could actually put it in through here, no problem. Once we get everything already soldered and connected, we're going to slide our heat shrink tubing and we're just going to heat it and it's going to cover it, kind of look like that to make everything look nice and neat all right so first things first we're going to go ahead get our paste flux ready so let's get uh, unscrew this as you can see here is our paste flux what we're going to do is we're going to dip our main cable here just get it in there dip it in and then same thing with our little harness go ahead and dip it into the paste flux get a little bit of that paste flux on there so what the paste flux does it makes it a lot easier for the solder to adhere to therefore you're not putting globs and globs of solder just to get it to stick that's all we need we don't have to put a, a lot of paste flux okay then we're going to grab our solder wire all right here is our solder solder wire now we're gonna go ahead wait for it make sure you plug in your solder iron and grab our cable and we're just going to wrap it over our harness make sure it's on there as tight as you can get it so now that we can go ahead and do that with the other one once you do that go ahead get your soldering iron and then just go ahead and put the solder on there and make sure everything's all in silver all right once I get that done I'll show you what to do next as you can see right here hopefully you guys can see that it's soldered all the way across all the way around same thing with the negative soldered all the way across all right so next we're going to go ahead and we are going to grab our heat shrink tubing doesn't matter which side black or, or red go ahead and slide it and then you want to make sure that it's pretty much in the center of this part right here so i want to make sure it's, it's kind of it's covered so i would say probably around right there for that one go ahead and slide this guy in just make sure you kind of get it right there in the middle right about there okay now we're going to go ahead get our lighter and shrink the tube so while I go ahead and do that, you guys do the same. Make sure it's a nice, tight fit. All right, guys. So here it is. Now, 
after you uh, heat shrink the tubing as you can see it kind of flared out over here on the top and in order to uh, maybe fix that just get a little bit of electrical tape i already did it with this one and just kind of wrap the top just wrap it until it goes like that if you don't have heat shrink tubing go ahead and use a little electrical tape to cover all of these connectors this is a size of one fourth and what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slide it over as you can see slide it over this will give you the best uh amount to know where to cut slide it over and then you could just go ahead either just fold it so you know where to cut it so go ahead and cut right there and then just heat it and it's going to isolate the spade connector so you want to make sure you do that for all of these that we just have right here also here is the other method uh having it with this type style where they are in case nothing wrong with it but for me it just creates more bulk as you can see it's kind of fatter on this side skinnier on this side and you know but it's it's also another good way of having it if you don't have the heat shrink tubing now i've already got all this already heat shrink and everything is already good to go so now let's go over to the bike and start connecting all of our connectors okay so now we're over at the bike so next we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our eight millimeter socket and we're going to go ahead and remove the screws so we'll go ahead and remove your positive go ahead and remove your negative and then from there i will show you what to do next okay now that we removed all of the uh, we moved the two screws the positive and negative you can see there is a bunch of wires all over the place all right so next we're going to do is we're going to go one by one on snipping uh the cables so we'll keep the pot the negatives to one side the positives to one side and i'll show you what i mean so i'm going to go ahead and grab as you can see how messed up this uh cable is right here i'm going to go ahead and we're going to try to snip as as close as to the edge of this uh piece right here so i'm going to go ahead and snip it so go like this make sure you grab that other that other part of it because you definitely don't want that that piece to uh go somewhere in the bike grab it go ahead and snip it throw that other piece in the garbage or on the floor whatever now that we got this piece out like this we're going to go ahead and we're going to strip the cable and then we're going to apply and crimp in our male spade connector so i'm going to go ahead and strip this and then crimp the male connector in its place and then you just pretty much want to do that for both sides both the positive and the negative okay oh so that was a little bit tedious as well it was going one by one but as you can see all my positives are already connected or already crimped and then i actually had blue male spade connectors so i put the those for the negative they're still all male but at least as for just my own personal preference i got red on this side and obviously blue for negatives so everything's already here already ready to go the only thing i did not touch was this this big fat cable which goes to my uh jumper cable battery pack i just left this one alone and of course for the negative side i left that one alone and obviously you got your factory cables left those alone as well positive and negative so it doesn't matter what you start with negative or positive i'm going to go ahead and actually go with the positive first so right now just go ahead and start plugging everything in just to give you an idea if you don't already know on how to connect these and go ahead and put that off to the side because that's going to go in a little bit later all right just go ahead and grab your connector your spade and then just go ahead and slide it in so make sure that you put it push it in all the way through go ahead and slide it in all the way through and there you go that's how you do it so make sure you do that with all of your accessory cables okay now that everything is connected as you can see it still looks a little bulky and messy a little bit but once we get a zip tie i would suggest getting a, a, a few of a few small zip ties getting all that the wire situated go ahead and tuck the wires away and uh and then we'll get ready to uh, do our final part which is connect our eyelets and our connect our screws back on the battery so right now i'm just going to go ahead and bunch up all this wire and then uh just go ahead and tuck it there's a little nice little pocket on the negative side for me where i'm going to tuck all the wires and get everything nice and neat so you guys do the same just look for a nice little pocket area and put your bunch of wires in there also forgot to mention that as like i said i never know what's going to happen in the future of maybe i might get extra accessories so as you can see i do have my extra terminals on the negative side and also on the positive side uh for any additional uh accessories that i may install in the future gotta remember to make my spade connectors for those cables when i get to them therefore i could just easily access the harness without having to remove the screws okay as you can see i got everything nice and tucked next one to do is just go ahead and go ahead and put your screws back in your negative and your positive screws all right and that's pretty much it now that we uh we put the screws back in as you could see so much more neater now there's no more bulk of cable and everything going on and if we ever needed to work on something all we had to do is just find the cable disconnect it from negative and from the positive and then we could just remove it or work on the bike or whatever not, and not have to worry about you know removing the bolt and having all that bunch of cables coming out and then if later on in the road i happen to buy something else and that i want to connect to it all i got to do is just go to the one that's not being used connect my positive 
connect my negative and therefore easier access all right guys well that pretty much concludes the video hopefully you guys found the video helpful and if you did please smash that like button if you know anyone else that has a mess going on right over here in the battery department please share my video help them get organized if you guys dislike the video please put a comment below on why you dislike the video even though it's negative comments i actually take that into consideration when making new videos to help me improve so really even though you dislike the video like i said it helps me improve for the future so really i don't count that as a negative comment if you haven't yet subscribed don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell that way you guys are up to date with my latest videos and thank you for watching